Hello guys and welcome to episode 38 of Rebuilding the Bridge. I'm Jake and today it's probably the biggest game of this season so far. We're first, we're playing Man City who are in second place. And I think if we win this we will definitely be title favourites if we're not already going into the second half of the season. I'll also be showing any January transfer window updates we have but there isn't going to be many because I don't plan on buying anyone this January. Hence why I've started the video halfway through the January transfer window because I don't expect there to be any more transfers. As usual guys, just a quick thank you for all your support on the most recent few videos since I changed the thumbnail. I've been really happy with the results so far and it's really nice when you guys get involved down below and let me know what you'd like to see. So in this video someone suggested that I should show the staff setup so should I get some time at the end of this video and it's a quick match against City, I'll be sure to show that. So first of all, we're going to start with our form since the last video, and we are doing amazingly. We're still unbeaten in the Premier League this season. Our only loss this season coming in the first match of it in the Community Shield. Since then, you can just see greens all the way down. Most of the time, we're not even conceding a goal. You last saw us beat Ajax 1-0. Since then, we've been absolutely brilliant. We beat Watford 3-0 away in the league, and everyone's chipping in, by the way. This isn't just like a one player carrying the team. One day, we'll have Mason Mount getting a hat trick. The next day, Pulisic is getting two, like you can see here. And it really has been a team effort this season. And it's probably been the best any team I've had so far has performed for me on Football Manager. Including in this Chelsea save, this is the best side we've had, I believe, across the five seasons. So after beating Watford 3-0, we then beat Leicester 3-1. Then we beat Everton only in penalties in the Carabao Cup, but it put us into the semi-final, which we also drew against Manchester United in the first leg, 3-3. We then also beat Wolves 4-0 in the league, Norwich 3-0 in the league, Forest 1-0, Preston 5-0 in the cup, Juan Manuel getting a hat-trick there. Then the Manchester United game, like I say, and then we've just beat Sheffield 2-0 in the league. Like I say, everyone's performing really well. We're still unbeaten in terms of where we are actually in the league. You can see Man City, who we're playing today, are our closest chasers, and they are, what's that, 11 points behind us? So if we won this, we'd be 14 points ahead, which is crazy at this stage of the season. But we're the only team that's gone unbeaten, and the team closest to us, Man City, have lost three games and drawn an extra one. So not losing them silly games has really worked out for us. And who knows, maybe we could win the league this season and go and beat, and that'd be crazy. My other favourite thing about this season, it's not that Liverpool aren't second, which is nice, it's that Arsenal have sacked two managers already, only 20 games in, and they are in 15th place, lost 12 games this season, only won six. They're not going to be able to attract any good talent in the summer, which means hopefully they'll just keep dropping down the league, because they finished like 10th last season, and hopefully one day they can get relegated. That would be great for me to see. But currently they look safe, they are six points ahead of anyone in the bottom three, but it's just very fun to see Arsenal that low down. And they're the only, like, typical top six team that aren't there. Leeds have taken their place currently. Watford doing well. QPR doing surprisingly well too for a newly promoted team. So it's a quite an interesting league this season. In terms of our January transfers, all we've done, I spoke about these guys before. I put in a cheeky bid for Eden Hazard, which, I don't know, I just put in 28.5 million because that was his value even though I'm pretty sure Real Madrid will want a lot more for him. But I put that offer in at the start of the January transfer window, so on January the 1st. It's currently January 17th and they still haven't responded, so maybe it will actually work, I don't know. But that's, this is more just a sentimental transfer, just to bring Hazard back. And I was hoping to win a Champions League with Hazard in the team, I thought that would be really cool, seeing as that's one of the things he never won for us, even though he was our best player for years. But I've showed these two guys here, this Alonso and Antonio guy, but I've not shown this dude who we just signed from, I don't know where. Let, let me let me have a look. He's from Sepahan. I don't know where this is. Apparently he's in the... It must be the Iranian league because he's Iranian. He's currently playing for the Iranian national team. And he looks like a really good prospect. Man City and Liverpool room for him. So we beat him to him for only £600,000. We can't really go wrong with this signing. And he looks like a decent prospect for sure. But for the team that we're going to play today to face Manchester City, we're going for one man well up front with Pedro and Sancho on the wings. Camavinga, Mount and Havertz taking the place of Mariba, who's been out for about two months now. Should be coming back pretty soon. He had um, a hernia, so he hasn't been in the team. Havertz has stepped up well, though, and took his place. Grimaldo has only just come back to fitness again. He's been injured pretty much all season, on and off. So hopefully he doesn't get injured in this match with Bastoni, Upamecano, James and Kepa. Filling in the rest of the team to create what is pretty much our standard 11 minus Mariba. Havertz though is a great replacement for him obviously. Before we start the game though guys I'd just like to say if you are enjoying the videos feel free to hit that subscribe button. It always means the world to me. I've said it before it genuinely does make my day when someone subscribes. And I know it's annoying for me to keep asking you guys but when I see that you guys are enjoying the content and subscribing and liking it genuinely makes me want to make more. So if you could do that it would be great. Usually about 60-50% of people watching aren't subscribed so if if we can get all them guys subscribed then maybe one day we can hit 100 subscribers that'll be the goal but our next goal is 35 subscribers so if you can help us get to that target you are an absolute hero now with that being said let's get into the match 
let's beat Man City and let's go 14 points clear in the Premier League, which is unheard of for us so far in this Chelsea save and really put some distance between us and second place. Let's get into it. And we are off here, guys. And there's a chance pretty early on straight away. Like I would just like to say sorry if my voice sounds strange. It's Jaden Sancho. Hold on, we'll get back to that in a second. Jaden Sancho has scored already. I thought there was no way that was going in. Well, man, well with a cross with his left foot. That was so easy. I don't know how that's gone in. Sancho's been in great form for us recently, having his best season for us so far. That was Edison's fault. I don't I didn't expect it to go in, and it's because it shouldn't have gone in. But we're on the look. We'll definitely take that. Yeah, Sancho's having his best season. Mason Mount is having his best season. It's great to see. Juan Manuel's been really good for us too. So is Pedri. Reese James is probably the only one that isn't performing like usual. Because usually when Reese James is back or Juan Calazo plays, he actually plays better than Reese James. But I kind of keep Reese James in the team because he is like a Chelsea Academy player. He's a fan favourite and he's our captain. So I do keep him in there. Kepa, James and a few others have just recently signed new deals as well. So they'll be here for a long while. No one is really in a contract trouble situation. Like we had with Christensen where he left on a free. We haven't got anything like that. So that's good to see. But yeah, like I was saying just before we scored, apologies for my voice. Like I said in the last video, I've, I had a bit of a sore throat for a few days and a bit of a cough. So it's still not back to its best. So I do apologize if it doesn't sound very nice. But you know, it is what it is. And we've got 10 minutes until the end of the first half already. Doing really well. And here is another highlight with Grimaldo on the ball. He plays the ball forward to Juan Manuel who takes it past John Stones, has the shot into Edison's gloves and it's a good sign that we're having all the highlights and having all the good attacks as we go into half time here it's been pretty even but we're just ahead of Man City in this match and that is shown on the scoreline too so I say I'm happy with that but no one seemed to respond to me so I guess maybe the players themselves aren't that happy with their performance Man City have got a decent team still I'm just looking at their players now we tried to sign Saliba quite a few times he's an Ars was an Arsenal centre-back on loan at St Etienne and as you can see he's four and a half star centre-back at 22 we wanted him we couldn't get him. He's one of the best centre-backs in the world now. Man City's still got a great team. But luckily, we're just beating them today by one goal so far, even though they are now starting to grow into the game a bit more. We might have to make some subs. Pedri isn't having the best game, it seems. So we're going to get him off. We're going to switch Sancho around and bring Pulisic on. As we head into the 60th minute now, I'm really hoping we can hold out here and get away. Maybe a second goal would help. And as I say that, we do get a highlight. And it's Reese James on the ball. To Upper Mancano, we're playing it out of defence. Pulisic on the right wing finds Reese James. Reese James goes forward, lays it off to Mount. This is a goal made in Chelsea if it goes in so far. And I think Mount's been fouled. Has he just won himself a penalty? We're about to find out. We have. We've won a penalty, and I think Mason Mount will be taken too. Come on, Mason. You've been in such good form for us. Put his 2 0 up. Mason Mount steps up and puts it in on the right side of the net. Past Edison. He couldn't get to it. And that's his ninth goal of the season, Mason Mount. He's doing really good for us. Plus, he's probably got the same amount in assists too because he's always assisting from corners and free kicks. And that should be job done now, really, if we can just see it out nice and easily. We're going to get Grimaldo off so he doesn't get injured. We'll bring Matson on. Not a bad backup to have, a very capable backup at that. And he's developed at the club, so that's good. And then I think we'll make our last sub now. I'm going to bring on Omaragic, I think. Hmm, actually. I'm going to take Reese James off for Tamori. Put, put Tamori at right back and see how that goes. Foden for Man City in the middle of the pitch. Sprayed it out to the right-hand side. He's put the cross in, but Tamori's cleared it away. So hopefully that is working. Tamori at right back. But Man City do come at us again. Tamori again wins it back, though, to Pulisic. We've got some fresh legs on the right-hand side, so I'd prefer us to work it down that way. And hopefully we can get a chance through using the fresh legs on the right. And that's what we're going for now. Tamori to Pulisic. Pulisic with one long ball forward to one man well. Well, Manuel could have made it 3-0. That would have been a very nice win against Man City at 3-0. He does miss, but Juan Manuel has done decent. Usually, if he doesn't score, he does assist. So, I'm very happy with him up front so far. He plays the lone striker role really well and always gets in behind the defenders, like you just saw there. Whereas Haaland was always like a... And Zerzi as well, our backup striker. Of the kind of strikers that just want to get on the end of a chance. Whereas Juan Manuel wants to actually run and take it past people. And find a space like this. One man, well, he's made it 3-0. He made up for his error. Kai Havertz with a great assist. That's the best goal of the game so far for us. And that has put us 3-0 up. Put us 14 points ahead in the league. To beat Man City 3-0, that's brilliant. We might actually go and beat him this season. And that would be crazy because that's Man City's games done now. We've probably got Liverpool one more time in the league. And then once we beat them, really, we should be able to beat everyone else. And maybe we can make it 4-0 now. Tamori on the right-hand side. Havertz. This is the best team I've put together for a long time in Football Manager, Havertz is shot into Edison's hands. That should be that. That should be a 3-0 win against Manchester City. 
It's probably one of the best results we've had in a channel video for a while. There wasn't that much drama, but you know, we just went out there, got the win, and came back really easily with that win, 3-0. Kai Havertz gets player of the match with a 9 rating. And I mean, that just shows the kind of team we've got when he isn't considered part of our first 11. Kai Havertz, this like, superstar, isn't getting in the team all the time. And when he does come in the team, he gets man of the match performances. So great win for us there. And we can see the league table. Liverpool got a win in their game, which means they are now second. But we are still 14 points clear with a massive goal difference too. Still not lost the game. Only drawn one game against Leeds. We're killing it. If we go to the Premier League as a whole and look at the team stats, we scored the most goals by 10. We've only conceded five goals all season. That's crazy. Already got 16 clean sheets for Kepa too. To only concede five goals is mad though. In terms of player stats this season, we haven't got one of the top goal scorers. We have got one of the top assisters in Mason Mount though. And Kepa is obviously the best goalkeeper, only conceding five goals. Miles ahead in the clean sheet run too. He's got 16. And his closest competitor is his Spanish international friend, David De Gea, with 11. So we are killing it this season, really. I did say before the video, if you had time, you'd look at our coaching staff setup because some people want to see if I've got like any ex-players in here. So I'll just go through. I'm not going to go through one by one, but I'm pretty sure Jody Morris is an ex-Chelsea player. I might have missed a few of these, um, but I think the big ones are Jody Morris, who we have. Some of our ex-players like uh, Makaleli, and we had Ferreira as well as coaches, and I think Makaleli was like loan manager. They all got jobs managing other teams. I don't think it's gone too well for either of them, but you know, they're out there, they're managers. Same with, I think we had Cudicini or Hilario, one of the two was a goalkeeping coach. But they're gone now managing a club, so they're doing pretty well for themselves. But then in our youth staff, if we have a look there... Our under-23 manager is Frank Lampard because he got sacked from whatever job he went to in the championship. We'll have a look what he did. Uh, is it Milestones? Obviously, we took his job at Chelsea when we started and then he was just unemployed for ages, actually. So then we just signed him up for our under-23s and he's done a decent job there. The under-23s have won the leasing trophy quite a few times, which is the trophy where the under-23 teams play teams from League 1 and League 2 and we've won it quite a few times, so Lampard's doing really well there. There's no other ex-players in the under-23 set up in the under-18s. I don't think there is either. Like I say, a lot of them have moved on and got jobs as managers, so I don't think there's anyone here particularly. We have got John Terry on the shortlist. We're just waiting for a spot to open up for him to come in. He will probably be like one of our under-18s coaches or something. But that'll be when someone leaves and gets like either a manager's job or another team plays compensation for our staff. But that is just a staff setup. Like I said in the previous videos, I'm just trying to show one like quick thing extra when we have time in the video. So that's what I've gone for today. It was requested in the last video. So hopefully you guys found that interesting. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video where we have just beat Man City 3-0. Crazy video, crazy result. Really happy to get that win and put a big gap between us and second place and we are title favourites now for sure hopefully we can try and go unbeaten because that would be amazing we can finally not only might Arsenal get relegated we, we can take their title of being the only invincible team in the Premier League so that would be great to do so thank you for watching the video I hope you have enjoyed it if you have feel free to hit the like button comment if you want to get involved down below subscribe if you want to see more content like this and turn the notification bell on as you can see this video had a two-day gap since the last upload rather than the one-day gap that we usually have a few things came up like uni work which meant that i couldn't upload so i shall try to upload as much as i can but no guarantees at the minute so thank you for watching guys i hope you come back and watch another and i'll see you in the next one goodbye